hey, it's Jen Lehner of jenlehner.com, and this is your Front Row Entrepreneur Flash Briefing Weekend Edition. Before we begin, I want to give a big shout out to Ariane Moore, Michael Copeland, Lynette Pottle, Phyllis Nichols, and April Pertwee, who used yesterday's trending hashtag, World Book Day, on Instagram and on Facebook. You can take a look at jenlehner.com slash flash, where we've embedded their posts for your viewing pleasure. And as you think about your social media content creation for the weekend, you should know that tomorrow, Saturday, is Barbie Day, Meatball Day, Genealogy Day, Panic Day, and Get Over It Day. (laughs) Kind of funny that Panic Day and Get Over It Day are on the same day, right? Oh, well, just pick one, I guess. It won't work if you pick both. Sunday is Pack Your Lunch Day, Dry Shampoo Day, Check Your Batteries Day, Day of Awesomeness, Mario Day, and International Bagpipe Day. Trending on Twitter right now is hashtag International Women's Day and hashtag Happy Women's Day 2019. If you figure out a way to use those hashtags in your marketing this weekend, with hashtags, of course, make sure and tag me on Twitter so that I see it at J-E-N-R-G-Y. So on with the news. Facebook has announced a new set of measures to limit the spread of anti-vax, meaning anti-vaccination, content on its network. And in the article, they give a long list of actions that they're going to take to um, prevent this stuff from being seen. But the bottom line is, if you have content that is anti-vax material, then it's just not going to get seen. That's basically the bottom line. YouTube is also ramping up its efforts to get rid of questionable content with the addition of a new fact check pop-up, which is going to appear on videos relating to subjects that are prone to misinformation. The new pop-up will appear in search results for certain topics and will highlight additional information from YouTube's verified fact checking partners whoever those are. Apparently, the people who spy on Instagram development have spotted a code that reveals a co-watch content feature hidden inside of Instagram's direct messaging. It's unclear what we might be able to do with this, um, whether we're going to be able to watch IGTV together or just laugh and cringe at stuff in the Instagram feed and stories with other people. We'll just have to see, but that seems to be in development. Now, let's quickly recap all of the updates from the week. And remember, all of the past broadcasts of these flash briefings, along with the show notes and links to any resources that we mentioned, can be found at jenlaner.com slash flash. Facebook has added a secret dark mode to Messenger, announced a new set of stickers for Women's History Month, which is, of course, happening right now. And they've added a new feature called Tributes for accounts whose owners have passed away. Twitter debuts new analytics tools for publishers focused on improving video engagement. And it's awesome. And I did a live stream about it yesterday. I'll put a link to that stream over on the show notes page. Instagram is working on some new options, which could enable you to sort through your follower and following list and search through your likes. LinkedIn is launching a new podcast or they've actually already launched it. It's called Hello Monday and it's it showcases stories of professional development. Pinterest continues to expand its e-commerce tools with new product catalogs and personalized shopping recommendations. Google is adding a new option to Google My Business Listings, which will enable brands to showcase offers within search results. And they've launched a new ad option to help brands reach users who are searching through Google images. Hey, I am trying to reach a hundred. Did you like the way I segued into that? Hey, I am trying to reach a hundred reviews of this briefing by April the 1st. We're currently at about 65. So having a lot of reviews of your briefing helps your briefing get found by others. So If you would just go over to amazon.com, search for Front Row Entrepreneur and leave a review, I would be so, so appreciative. It only takes a minute, maybe not even a minute. And don't forget that today is TGI Friday in my free online classroom, The Front Row. This is when members share their wins and anything that they want to promote. The cherry on top is that each week I take your contributions and send it out in a weekly roundup email to my email list. So you get double exposure to a whole new audience. If you aren't already a member, join us at frontrowclassroom.com. Have a great weekend. I hope you do something fun or relaxing or both. And I'll be back Monday morning with a brand new flash briefing just for you.